Hi, I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Department of Forestry and Natural Resources, and I'm standing here in front of the tree of the week, the flowering dogwood. Now the dogwood is probably one of our best known and most cherished of our small trees. We find it's common in our woodlands, and it may even be more common in our landscapes and our yards. Um, it's native to central and uh, eastern United States. And this smallish tree grows from about 15 to uh, 40 feet tall, and right now it's easy to pick out. And because of what many people think are the flowers, um, which are uh, these the four white look like petals with little notches in them. Those aren't actually petals. Those are the bracts or modified leaves um, of this uh, tree. The, uh, in the center of these four bracts are a group of flowers, kind of a nondescript little group of flowers. And the white coloration that you see here is what we would find in nature. That's what's going to be in your woodland. The pinks that we see out in our landscapes, in our um, yards, that's from a variety of one, it's one of the cultivars of uh, flowering dogwood because there are a lot of different cultivars for flowering dogwood. Now the leaves can also be a good way of identifying a flowering dogwood. These are just now emerging on, on this tree and um, they're kind of oblong, um, oval in shape and they're oppositely arranged um, on the twig. So they're right across from each other and they have very prominent venation. You'll notice on the midrib, there's that strong midrib down the center and then all of the veins that kind of curve up towards the top of the leaf, make it a good identifying feature. Now these leaves will become a very attractive reddish to purple color in the fall. So it's also a very attractive tree in the fall. And speaking of the fall, the fruit of the flowering dogwood is an important wildlife food. It's an attractive uh, red droop. They'll be in clusters of uh, usually three to five. It's shiny, nice bright red, um, and it's especially enjoyed by birds. There's over 30 different species of birds known to consume um, flowering dogwood berries. Now, another thing about the flowering dogwood is the wood. So the wood's important, and um, the wood is, it's a very hard, durable wood, and it's smooth, and it's able to take a lot of abrasion, a lot of abuse. And it's been used um, for, in our textile industry for years. It's used to make spools, um, shuttlecocks, and dowels um, in uh, the, the textile industry. And so it's got very fine wood. Now, flowering dogwood does best on well-drained soils. It can grow in the shade and it can grow in full sun, but it does best in partial shade. And um, so it's a great landscape tree and it's a great tree out in your woods as well. well. Did you know the scientific name of flowering dogwood is Cornus florida. Cornus comes from the Latin cornu, which means hard and refers to the wood of the tree. Remember, it's got the hard wood. And florida comes from the Latin floss, which means flower. So it's a flowering dogwood. So I hope you all have the opportunity to get out in your neighborhood, maybe get to the park, get out in your woodland and enjoy flowering dogwood this spring.